Good morning everybody welcome back to the channel I'm here in my mom's apartment probably for one of the last times as we continue to move her out uh, my mom's going to well she's already actually in assisted living so days like these to help me keep things in perspective and when we're talking about the scripture the, that is before this video Colossians 3 2 Set your affections on things above, not on the things that are on the earth. Uh, that scripture helps me to put things in perspective. And even this video, uh, as you will see, uh, sometimes myself included, we get caught up in the things that are happening around us, uh, the temporary, all the things that we do and have down here on this earth are very temporary. So we must enjoy the day and thank God for it. But set our affections on things above. And that is where heaven is and where God dwells. So if we would set our affections on the things of God and put less time on the stressful things of the day, we'll be better for it. And I have to remind myself of that. As I do these projects, sometimes I get caught up in the deal. Or, you know, I'm a creator. I would say I call myself a um, automotive artists and I create and put things together and and I like when it comes all together but sometimes myself I have to consider that these things are temporary and to not you know get too caught up in the moment but focus on the Almighty God so enjoy the video okay guys welcome back to the channel we have a very exciting, I hope, one way or the other, whether it's going to be bad or it's going to be good, an exciting day. Um, we got our new hood, a metal hood, a good mark metal hood. And it was fairly reasonably priced. I did have to search for it. But here is the dilemma. One, we talked about it before, that hoods are way too expensive yes they are but not only that the shipping is what makes the hood almost twice as much what it should be now the place that i ordered this hood from told me in the email do not accept the hood if if the hood is damaged return it refuse it do not sign for it when the truck driver gets here uh, no, you're not allowed to open it. If you open it, then I'm in trouble. I can only let you open it after you sign it. Where the shipping company, the place that sold me the hood said, do not sign for it until you inspect it to make sure that it's not been up. So we had a stalemate. The carrier, which I understand, I work in the delivery business, did not want to leave the hood without me signing for it. So he gets on the phone and calls his company and they tell him, um, basically, you can do a 48 hour um, return. In other words, I didn't sign for it, which doesn't hold me liable. But if I open a box now and the hood is toe up, then they will come back and I can return the hood. So right now we're going to put the camera out here and you guys are going to see the same time that I do whether the hood is tore up from the floor or if it's perfectly fine. But already, if you look at the box, and I'm not blaming the driver, I'm not blaming the company that shipped the hood because this is the box that it comes in. But if you look at the box, the box, before you even touch it, is tore up on this end, on the side, this in here was already open. 
Hope that that's a good sign. Uh, there's a big bang in the box right here. Uh, one up here under the plastic. As you can see, the box is not in great shape. This is what happens when you ship. I'm not blaming any one person or person, but this is what we have to deal with when you order a hood. So I'm going to get down here, turn the camera on the hood. I'm going to slide it gently out of the box and we're going to see what it looks like together. right in the top of the hood before I can even get the hood out of the box hope you guys can see that there's a big dent right in it Ugh. why do you know these things are gonna happen big dent right here you can see the big dent right in the hood, right there. Right there. Big dent. Unbelievable. So I guess we should slide it the rest of the way out and see if the rest of it's pretty dent up as well. So what are we going to do? There's a dent in the hood right there. Plain as day for all the world to see. Oh, I'm frustrated right now. Very much so. Are there any other dents? So far, that looks like the only dent. So, what are we gonna do? Oh gosh. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna pull the end caps off and see if there's any other more any more damage on the hood, other than the dent. It's right there.
So it looks like that is the only dent. So what am I gonna do? Am I gonna keep this hood? Because if I order another hood, most likely the same thing's gonna happen. I can probably have that dent fixed, but I am gonna let the company know. So we'll see. All right, guys, this is an alternate ending to the original ending of this video. You see, I was bent out of shape. I had that, <laughs> the dent in that hood. Uh, but when I had time to just sit back and look at it, I gave the company who I bought the hood from um, a day. I told them, you know, basically, this hood was something that was going to be... Um, on an episode of my YouTube channel. And that's the truth. Um, they were really stand up. The name of the company that I bought this hood will be in the description below. But they really did come through. They offered me uh, to be able to keep this hood if I wanted to get the, the dent repaired. And then I would be discounted uh, some funds off uh, for that hood or they would send me out another hood well rather than send another hood which I just didn't want to go through that whole ordeal again you know the wait uh, the time that you know you know there's a window yeah probably a five six hour window uh, if you order another one uh, when it does come in and then the whole getting it off the truck and all I just didn't want to go through that again so they gave me um, a discounted rate on the hood and as you can see in this video it turned out well okay guys this is what the hood looks like I had my son come out with me and he and I um, put the hood on still not in this perfect position but I wanted it to be lined up so I can see uh, what it looked like on here and I am so far even though we haven't even really lined anything up the fenders are still not attached it looks good we were able to mostly tap that dent out uh, it's you know it's still there a little bit but it's not it's not a deal breaker and the whole ordeal was a learning experience what would you guys have done yes if you lift this hood up this is a steel hood they're not quite as thick as the original equipment but they have all the bracing underneath uh, that you would consider you know pretty much top-notch this is a good mark hood and I would say it's very well built Compared to the fiberglass hood that I had on here, I would say there's no comparison. I mean, I just like the solid feel and the way that this one sits on here and it fits very, very well, as you can see, even though we haven't even lined it up good yet. The two inch cowl is a little less out there than the two and a half that I had with the fiberglass hood. It has the vents, vent holes in the back that will help uh, hide air release. Uh, yeah, overall, I, I'm, I'm loving it. So, you know, sometimes you gotta go through some things in life to get what you want, but I was certainly, certainly happy with the way that this looks. And we're gonna be doing some things to it shortly. It is the little, the little ding not so bad we were able to get it mostly all the way out it's just needs a little teeny bit of work but uh, yeah overall I am impressed and pleased I'm just glad just to flip the page on this episode and I'm tickled with the hood and as you can see um, it looks really nice on there I look to me uh, after looking at it compared to the um, fiberglass hood that we had purchased, uh, I think it looks way better. It looks more 
as if it would have come from the factory that way. So, yeah, we got some good things coming up at the end of this week. All of you guys who have um, watched some of the Nacho Fox Body Build, um, get ready. We got a very exciting uh, Maverick video coming up. Um, we'll be shooting that this weekend. Um, and then that'll probably be dropping either Sunday evening or maybe early uh, Monday. But keep tuning in because we got more Mustang stuff coming. And like I said, don't use, don't lose any sleep over these type things. You treat people respectfully. You don't cuss people out in emails and texts and all that stuff. No, that's that's not the way you handle. At least that's not the way I handle business. I find if you treat people respectful and you be honest and upfront with them, then generally people will treat you the same way. So remember to like and subscribe, comment, what would you have done? And I'll see you on the next one.